On a wet Friday morning, a federal government delegation led by the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Melekiri, arrived in the area. Accompanied by the chief of defense staff, Lucky Irabo, members of the team walk on marshy ground, occasionally wading in the mud. Eventually, they arrive at a four kilometer Trans Escravos trunk line where they discover at various points two pipelines illegally connected to the source. The attachment on our Trans Escravos pipeline, that illegal connection, is professionally done, and the end of result is that they connected this to a, an inactive test line which should never carry crude under normal circumstances and we have seen that this line flow all the way parallel to the other two active lines into the Afremos uh, platform and, and we think this is a good revelation. A very extensive investigation will be conducted anyone involved in this process whether from the, com from the community members, our community contractors, government security and agencies, workers of the oil companies including NMPC and Shell, anyone that is involved with this will be dealt with by the law. We are getting massive support from the government security agencies. It is paying up. We are getting seen very great results, interventions from all government security agencies, from the Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Air Force, Department of State Service, the Nigerian Army, and all other agencies of government. We are seeing massive campaign that is coordinated by the chief of defense staff, and it is paying up. I've come here and I've seen, along with uh, the group CEO of NMPC Limited. This is really very sad. And we're going to get to the report, uh, be an investigation that will go through the entire stretch and entire length of um, the to establish who did this, and how long it has been, and among several other issues. It beats the imagination how for years security personnel of Shell Petroleum Development Company failed to detect the fraud on the facility while a pipeline surveillance contractor only needed a month to discover it. This theft is discovered by Tantita Security Services Limited. The chairman of Tantita Security Services Limited is Aishi Government Equimpolo, the person you all know as Compolo. Uh, his dream and aspiration, as far as this work is concerned, is very, very clear. Our operation has started for about um, six weeks now. Within these six weeks, we have discovered on this TEP, we have discovered 16 tappings on the Trans Escar Trans pipeline. Of the six or six things that we have excavated, we have intel on two that are further from where we are coming from now, and we are still excavating. We are coming this line. We are going to trot this line until we get to Ogidigbe, from Ogidigbe to Madangu, and so. Um, only God knows how many more points we are going to see as we go further. But as at this moment now, we have discovered 16 points. These two parallel pipelines are connected here illegally. And for nine years, they stole crude oil without the NNPC knowing anything about it. Now, in the coming days, perhaps more information will come to the fore about how they did this for just a year shy of a decade without being caught. Of Yitzime George, Arise News.